Hallelujah to our King. Hallelujah to our King. Lord, you are great and you are almighty. All honor, all praise, all blessings, all glory to you, O King. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. You are worthy of all praise. To you, our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. Who is like unto you, O God? Who is like unto you? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to our King. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. You are worthy of all praise, Almighty God. To you, our lives we raise, Almighty God. Who is like unto you? Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Great and faithful is the Holy One of Israel. He who was and is and is to come. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. You are great and greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I praise you, O God. I praise you, I praise you, I honor you, I adore you. Hallelujah. I magnify your name. For you are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. Hallelujah. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome in this place. Take full control, Holy Spirit. We acknowledge you. We say good morning to you, Holy Spirit. Welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Welcome into this time. Welcome into this season. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Great and faithful is the Holy One of Israel. You who was and is and is to come. We acknowledge you, O Holy Father, and we declare your majesty. We declare that you are God all by yourself. There is no God like you, Jehovah. You are wonderful, awesome, counselor and friend. There is no God quite like you. Hallelujah. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. You are worthy of all praise. To you, our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. Great is thy faithfulness. O Lord, our Father, there is no shadow of turning in thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, they fail not. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the Lord Most High. How great, how great, how great, how great is our God. We say hallelujah to our King. We come just now to say thank you, O King. Thank you, Lord, that you are not just a part of our lives, but you are our everything. We glorify your name today, O gracious, wonderful, and awesome God. We declare your majesty. We declare that you alone are Savior and King. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. You are worthy of all praise. And we say your name is a strong tower. And the righteous run into your name, into your fame, into your anointing and power. And we are safe. Oh, Father, keep us safe till morning light. Keep us safe, O oh God, safe and bright. Safe from the enemy that we might continue to be right, safe whether day or night. Holy are you, Lord, and all creation calls you God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is your name. As we call upon your name, Lord Jesus, as we call upon your name, Jesus, 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 bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is like unto our God. Who is like unto our God? Great is thy faithfulness. Hallelujah. 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 What a mighty God we serve. Great is thy faithfulness. Holy One of Israel, I bless your name. I praise your name. I honor your name. You are awesome in this place. We glorify you, Lord Jesus. Who is like unto you? Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we lift up this morning your people every person gathered here this morning our father even those who are still to come those who are still struggling to wake those who are struggling oh god almighty to even decide that they want to be a part of devotions this morning i pray god your blessing upon them i pray especially oh god almighty for young miss francis hallelujah yes lord mm. 
Thank you, Jesus. Father, I lift up young Miss Francis before you this morning. I pray your blessing upon her. I pray your peace upon her. I pray that you will restore your peace into her soul, O God Almighty, that every decision that she has to make, O God Almighty, that you will be the one who will make those decisions for her, that, God, she will learn how to acknowledge you in all her ways, that you will direct her path. Father, there are, there are situations and circumstances that she's facing now that she needs your hand, your decision, your peace, your joy, your way, your will, your word to come forth in her life to make those decisions the right ones. I pray, God, that you will glorify yourself in everything that she does and everything that she says. Magnify your name. Magnify your name in her life, O oh God Almighty. Let, let your will be done. Let only your will be done in her life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jody and Francis, I call your name in the realm of the Spirit. Jody and Francis, I call your name in the realm of the Spirit. And I say, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. God is about to do an awesome work in your life, Jody and Francis, as you have asked this morning in this fourth watch hour. Lord, come to my rescue. Lord, change my circumstance. Lord, increase me, enlarge me, expand me. I declare, Jody and Francis, that God has heard you. God has heard your cry in this fourth watch hour, like he heard the cry of Peter when he said, If it be you, bid me come. If it be you, O oh God, bid me come. I declare this morning, Jody and Francis, that it is the Lord, and he bids you come. He bids you come into his, his presence. He bids you to come up to the holy hill. He bids you to come that he might hide you in the cleft of the rock. He bids you come out of the situations and circumstances that you have found yourself in that are difficult for you to let go of. But the Lord bids you come. The Lord says if you will trust him, if you will trust him, Jody and Francis, I'm speaking to you as I'm speaking to every other person that is hearing my voice. Hallelujah. The Lord says, if you will come, if you will come into his presence, if you will come into that close place, if you will come into his word, if you will come into his will, if you will come into obedience, if you will come by faith, he says, nothing will be too good for you to receive. Nothing will be held back from you. Your blessings will make rich and add no sorrow. The blessings of the Lord that shall be upon you shall be manifested in you and through you, for you and by you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so come in this place, Jody and Francis, that place, that secret place where you know God is waiting for you. God has been waiting for you for a long time. He wants to minister to you. He wants to transform you. But you have to come into his presence you have to step up and that uh, so that god can step out on your behalf in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah hallelujah so father i just bless your people this morning as they gather with great anticipation and excitement with great hope hallelujah for the future i thank you this morning that your plans your thoughts towards us are good to give us a hope and a future so we claim that hope we claim that future this morning and we declare and decree that no weapon formed against any member of this family shall prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment is condemned we cancel cramp and paralyze every assignment of the enemy every demonic force working against our our, our purpose against our manifesting glory hallelujah by the holy spirit we set the fire of god against that now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth holy spirit of god fill our souls fill our minds fill our bodies fill our spirit take full control holy spirit of god minister to us burn out every sinful thing that is in us we repent of anything any known or any unknown sin this morning on behalf of this port watch family we repent of every sin oh god every sinful thought every idle word spoken we repent of every uh, every sinful action taken god everything we should have done that we didn't do we repent everything that we did that we should not have done we repent everything oh god that is hiding deep in the center of our soul hiding behind 
excuses, hiding behind uh, character and nature, hiding behind fear, hiding behind pride. Father, we uproot them this morning and we say, Lord, have your way, uproot, uproot anything in, in us, O God. Like the songwriter said, search me, O God, and know my thoughts. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, O Savior. See if there be any wicked ways in us and purge us, O God. Purge us from all unrighteousness. Purge us, O God Almighty, that we might be whiter than snow. Wash us like you washed David when he sinned against you. Cleanse us from all thoughts, all ways, all things that we have seen or heard or smelt or spoken of things that have entered our mouth as contaminants in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cleanse us, O God Almighty, and make us whole. Things that have made us sick, things that have caused diabetes, hypertension, uh, cancers that have entered our systems. This morning, God, we repent. We repent of anything that we have allowed to take root in our system. Every generational curse of cancer and hypertension and diabetes and uh, arthritis rheumatized and otherwise God Almighty every sinus issue that has come upon us oh God as a curse father we repent and renounce them today we declare that we are free from every sickness and disease I command those with high blood sugar levels hallelujah to, for the blood sugar level to go down now pastor Neil Neil pastor Neil I command your blood sugar level to to, to retreat to the place of safety, to the place where the doctors are comfortable. I command your blood pressure to go down to 120 over 80. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every demon operating against your blood pressure, I bind you now. I bind you now. I bind your kings, you kings and princes and principalities and powers. I bind you with chains and your nobles with fetters of iron. I bind your works against God's people right now. Anything that you are working against God's people, arthritis, diabetes, heart problems, nerve problems, headaches, uh, migraine headaches. I come against you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every pain from every every discomfort, from stress, from anxiety, from fear. Uh, I command you foul, unclean spirits be uprooted from God's people now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I command you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to loose God's people right now. I speak to every very unclean spirit operating in the space and in the place where God's people live in their homes. I command every foul, unclean spirit that touches and embraces and seeks to impart into God's people any form of evil, any form of witchcraft, any form of sexual immorality. I uproot you out of their homes, out of their lives by fire in the name of Jesus. I command every demonic force operating in the bedrooms of God's people. I break your powers. I cancel your assignment. Whatever authority was released that gave you permission to go into the pe people of God's bedroom, to go into their lives, to touch them, to try to be intimate with them. I cancel your, 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 your contract. I cancel your authority. I cancel your, 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 your entry level. I shut your portal that entered their, their home and their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I seal their place like the, 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 the wall. Hallelujah. Jerusalem was sealed by Nehemiah and his team. I seal the wall of their homes now. I seal <coughs> I seal the walls. I seal the roof. I seal the windows. I seal the doors. I seal the, the foundation. I seal every door and every window of their homes now. And I declare that your time in their homes, in their lives, even in their communities, even in their country, is up and expired in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command you right now, loose God's people, every fourth watch family member right now, if you are hearing my voice, I want you to repeat after me, any demon or devil, any witch or warlock, any principality or power operating in my sphere, in my atmosphere, in my place, in my space, I command you now 
by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit be uprooted now be gone now I cancel your authority I cancel your orders I shut your portals I reverse your entry into my life and I declare that I am free my family is free my house is free my community is free my nation is free from your wicked influence now 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 in Jesus name in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name hallelujah 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 freedom must come to your household by faith by faith freedom must come to your household and father we pray even now for this nation jamaica land that you love we pray oh god almighty that this these principalities and powers that have been assigned to this nation that have been assigned to try and bring uh, more bloodshed than than river waters more bloodshed oh god almighty than the the the, the, the 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 sea the waves of the sea we declare that it shall not be so as long as we're alive as long as we are children of god as long as we have authority as long as we have power over all the power of the enemy nothing shall by any means hurt us we declare a reversal of every order given against this nation to shed, to shed blood wantonly from the north to the south, the east to the west. We reverse every curse and we cancel and shut down every principality and powers of death working against this nation, working to damage this nation's reputation, working against this nation because this nation's God is the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare that our God shall turn up, our God shall show up, our God shall fight for us. Uh, Father, we thank you this morning uh, that wherever the orders have come from, uh, wherever the release has, has, has taken place from, uh, that demons and devils could find their, their space in our nation take over our young people. We reverse that curse right now. We declare, O oh God Almighty, we declare a, a, a fresh assignment, angelic assignment uh, f towards our young people, O oh God Almighty. Father, we, we, we single out the ages of 12 to 35 today. We single out that age group, 12 years old to 35. And we declare, God Almighty, that, that that's the precious group of the next generation, the precious group of the next level of leaders, the precious group of the next level of movers and shakers, the precious group age group of the next level of people who will step into the fullness of your goodness the 35s and over will be taking over positions of authority positions of power the others will be, will be taking over positions of industry the others will be going into high schools and into colleges getting ready to move into the next level of, of, of nation shifting and so father God the enemy desires to sift them as wheat but this morning we pray for them we pray not just for those who are our family members who are our children but God we pray for those hallelujah generate that generation of persons across the world in the name of Jesus Christ father we declare that this generation shall not be lost not on our watch we stand in the gap for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we stand in the gap for our children we stand in the gap for the lost for the broken we stand in the gap oh God Almighty for those that have no one to stand in the gap for them we stand in the gap and we say Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth come to the rescue of our children come to the rescue of our young people come to the rescue of our young adults in the mighty name of Jesus Christ come to the rescue of our teenagers father God the, the enemy desires to sift them as wheat he is speaking in their ears and he's speaking through their eyes and he's speaking through their mouth he's speaking through their bodies Lord God Almighty we have children operating as the who 
cannot even spell their names good, but they're functioning in all manner of evil. They're involved in witchcraft. They're involved in sexual activity. They're involved in adult actions and uh, actions that they do not understand the responsibility. Father, I reverse that demonic influence. We reverse that demonic influence against our children in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of rebellion against in, in our children in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against that, that foul, unclean spirit that wants to take over the minds of our children. We declare today that we are the ones who will influence our children. We are the one that speak over our children in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that our children are blessed. Our children are safe. Our children are firm. Our children, we come against the spirit of schizophrenia in our children, the spirit of madness, the spirit of insanity, whatever you call it, Father God, you know the names. Hallelujah. We come against them in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of drug abuse and drug use in our children in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of sexual immorality and sexual confusion in our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare that our children are blessed. We speak deliverance anointing upon our children even now. We command every foul, unclean spirit, every hook that Satan has put in our children, every, every, every contamination, every drop of anything unclean that satan has released upon our children we purge it we uproot it we destroy it by fire today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare and decree that wherever our family members are aunts uncles cousins nieces and nephews hallelujah we declare them blessed today we declare them highly favored today we declare an uproot from every contaminated thing that is in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any funny, unclean behavior that is in our children, in our relatives, in our family members, in our bloodline, we uproot that by fire this morning. Lord Jesus Christ, we are believing you that no matter how tough a thing is, no matter how they say they were born that way, no matter how they say they were born with that tendency, no matter how they say they were were born with that kind of lifestyle, that kind of thought process, that kind of way of thinking, anything that goes against your word in the lives of our family members, we uproot them by fire this morning. Come on, people of God, agree with me now. If there is any family member that you have that is struggling with any kind of thing that you know is not of God, they're struggling mentally, they're struggling physically, they're struggling emotionally, they're struggling with anything that is causing them to be less than who God has created them to be. This is the day on this Deliverance Thursday. This is the day when you uproot. This is the day when you come in agreement with God. This is the day when you say, Lord Jesus, I uproot every evil thing that has been transferred to my child, to my relatives, to my cousins and nieces and nephews. I uproot them by fire. Everything that has been transferred to my son or my daughter that is caused them confusion that will cause them to to not serve you in spirit and in truth every confusing spirit i uproot you by fire i declare that my son shall not be confused sexually shall not be confused emotionally shall not be confused academically shall not be confused socially i uproot every social and confusing spirit in his body in the name of jesus i declare that my daughter shall be strong and mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold every demonic force working against her purpose come on people of God follow what I'm saying and follow speak over your family speak over your family line speak over your bloodline speak over your children declare this day that your son that your daughters hallelujah shall flourish shall prosper shall be mighty men and mighty women of God declare and decree that even your unborn child for some of you who are young you don't yet have children begin to speak to your womb and declare that your womb shall produce good fruit every rotten fruit that the enemy wants to contaminate or plant in your womb we declare that it shall not come to pass it shall not take root we uproot every rotten fruit in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth where our children already exists 
and the enemy is trying to contaminate, trying to cause an infestation of maggots, of worms in the fruit of our children. We uproot that this morning. We draw for the Holy Spirit pest control system and we spray the fruit of our children's lives. We pray the we spray the root and we spray the fruit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We uproot everything planted in the lives of our children this day in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare our sons and daughters shall flourish, shall prosper, shall be in good health even as their souls prosper. Right now, even as some of them sleep, we declare the holy angels of fire, holy angels of war, Holy angels of, 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 of restoration, holy angels of repair, holy angels of demonic manifestations, uh, accountability. We declare this morning that angels of God, ministering spirits of God, deliverance angels, healing angels, restoring angels, visit our children right now, wherever our children are, in whatever country, in whatever, whatever state or place. We ask that you will visit them now. Visit our our children now in the mighty name of Jesus visit them in their rooms visit them wherever they are right now holy angels and uproot every demonic plant in their lives uproot every sin and shame uproot everything that the enemy has planted and blamed hallelujah uproot 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 from our children in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ and we uproot every lukewarm spirit from your people this morning in the name of jesus every 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 spirit of compromise compromise against the word compromise against your will compromise because of the job compromise because of the laws and rules and regulations that facilitates evil concupiscence that facilitates wicked debauchery uh, I father every sexual deviance we uproot that spirit of compromise now in the name of Jesus Christ and we declare that we shall not fall for their tricks and plots and schemes and traps we shall not fall for them but we shall stand in righteousness holiness and truth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because what we accept what we compromise on shall visit our homes shall arise like a a fruit tree planted in the center of our homes and so we uproot by fire we uproot every unclean spirit every sexual immoral spirit we uproot every deviant spirit every spirit working against the souls of our children we uproot them by fire this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth every contamination floating in the atmosphere that is being breathed in by our children that cause their minds to be to, to, to wander off into other places every spirit operating through television programs through cartoons through YouTube channels through Facebook and Twitter and Instagram uh, we cancel their assignment against our children now in the name of Jesus Christ everything masquerading as entertainment but really is promoting sexual promiscuity, sexual misconduct, sexual deviance, sexual confusion. We seal our children from those disgusting behaviors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, from fornication and adultery, from every kind of debauchery, every kind of sexual misconduct. We seal them from our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth every spirit that is seeking to dominate our children's soul to make them take lose control and to go do things and be things that they are not supposed to according to the Word of God we see seal those from our children now we seal every screen we seal every movie we seal the screens of our computers our laptops our our cell phones our tablets we seal them from our children in the name of jesus christ and we declare that our children shall not fail but shall prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bless your men servant and your women servant this morning. I bless them to richly. I bless them to flourish. I bless them to have creative ideas and witty inventions. I bless your people, O oh God, to have the answers by your spirit to what ails their family, to what ails their children, to what ails them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
I declare and decree that the blessings of the Lord make rich and add no sorrow. I declare and decree that the favor of God is upon every person in this family in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that we are highly favored, that we are the blessed of God, that we walk in power, we walk in anointing, we walk in joy, we walk in peace, we walk in love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you this morning, O God Almighty, that nothing shall by any means hurt us because we are the beloved of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your presence, for your blessings, for your favor, for your deliverance, even now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, our children have the mind of Christ. We declare it this morning. Our children have the mind of Christ. Our children have the mind of Christ. Come on, you got to declare it. Come on. Hallelujah. Put your hand on your children's head each day and declare, my son has the mind of Christ. My daughter has the mind of Christ. She thinks as God wants her to think, not as the world wants her to think. She acts and speaks and sees and hears what God wants her to, to, to do. To speak, to see, and to listen to in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My household is a household of faith. My household is a household of power, love, and a sound mind. My household declares the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. My house shall be called a house of faith. My house declares Jesus Christ as Lord. Come on, you got to declare these things over your house that Satan will know I have to go next door. I cannot take on Patricia Taylor's house. I cannot take on Laura Henry's house. I cannot take on Sandra McGowan's house. No, they cannot. They have to go. Kitty's Nature Cottage is not a place where Satan comes. He has to go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bibi Blair is not one that the Satan can come to your house. We declare your children protected. Come on. Hallelujah. Donna Baker, we declare that your house is off limits to Lucifer and his works in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on. Gleneth, we declare your house off limits. Donna, we declare your house off limits to every demonic activity. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we declare that you are blessed you are highly favored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Stacy we declare you blessed we declare your bloodline blessed we declare your womb blessed we declare everything for concerning you blessed the work of your hands I release uncommon blessing in the name of Jesus Christ Denise West I speak to your line your loins now I speak to what has already come forth out of your loins I speak to your daughter I speak to every contamination in the very veins in the very bloodstream of your daughter wherever that contamination has come from through her eyes through her ears through food through influence through school i reverse every curse that has been imparted to your children to your child in the mighty name of jesus christ i uproot every demonic assignment whatever methodology whatever means satan has used to infiltrate your children to transform them into what god has not said that they are supposed to be i reverse those curses curses this morning. Every demonic umbilical cord connected to your children, causing them to think and speak and to say that they are them and they and all these kinds of things. Ah, hallelujah. Using words to describe themselves that cannot even be understood by the greatest English language uh, person. I reverse, 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 reverse every curse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our children are only what God says they are. Our children is only who God says they are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We reverse this morning. We take authority over everything that the enemy has released upon our household and we reverse that curse. We reverse that curse. We shall not get worse. Every curse is reversed in the mighty mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare this day a good day. We declare this day a victory day. We declare this day a day of, of, 
where Satan is no longer our rival, but Jesus has arrived. Jesus is a rival we, we herald this day in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare that this is the day of our, 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 our release, our blessing, our favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, Father God Almighty, we thank you that this day you have done a mighty work against the works of the enemy in our children. Every spirit of rebellion, every spirit of, of, of of every blockading spirit stopping our children especially our sons from hearing the voices of their mothers and obeying we we pull out that earplug we stop that confusion that is operating in their minds and we declare that our sons shall be submissive in the name of jesus christ we declare that our daughters shall not develop and carry any spirit of rebellion we uproot that out of their lives now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every spirit every kinky spirit every 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 demonic testing spirit that wants to try things and and to 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 um to experience or to experiment with things that are not of god we uproot that influence now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we uproot every negative influence after our children in the name of jesus christ and we take back our children we take back our marriages we take back our relationships we take back our family in the mighty name Name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we take back everything that the enemy has stolen from us in the realm of the spirit this morning we pursue overtake and recover all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth sister Natalie we pursue and overtake for you this morning hallelujah sister Nadia we pursue and overtake on your behalf this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ sister Sean Chana sister Judith we pursue and overtake and recover all Ju and Ju we we restore everything the enemy has stolen from you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ we declare the hands of the Prince of Persia has been cut off of everything that concerns you and restoration has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah I speak restoration now I speak restoration now restoration of your finances restoration of your health restoration of your, your your relationship with your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth restoration of your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth things have, got, have gotten a little lukewarm things have not is not as hot as it used to be but I declare today is the day when your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit gets hot as fire again like a furnace it is burning like a volcano erupting I declare that your relationship has been restored today anything that was blocking any Jericho wall any Jordan River any Red Sea any Pharaoh's army that was between you and the and your relationship with the Holy Spirit I uproot them this morning I part them this morning I destroy them this morning by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth your love and desire for the Word of God has been released to flourish and to prosper today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare that your desire to hear God's voice clearly has now been freed up to to, to, to happen in the name of Jesus your desire to be in the cleft of the rock to be in the tent of meeting to meet with the Lord face to face has been cleared the path has been cleared in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth as God spoke to Moses so I declare that he will speak to you by his spirit in your spirit God will speak clearly that you will hear him I declare that everything that has blocked you from acknowledging him in all your ways no longer stands Stands in your way every demonic force every demonic spirit stopping you from hearing God's voice clearly I uproot that spirit now I uproot that demonic force now in the name of Jesus Christ and I retune your frequency I turn back that demonic manipul manipulation of your ear frequency and I tune you back to the voice of the living God. I tune you back to the voice of Yeshua the Mashiach of Nazareth. I tune you back to the voice of the Holy Spirit and I declare that you will only hear and respond to the voice of the Holy Spirit. For the word of God says, my sheep hear my voice ah, and they obey me and another they will not follow. I declare that you fall in the 
category of God's sheep, you will hear his voice clearly and you will walk according to his directions, his will and his purpose. I declare that as of today, you will be able to say, thus saith the Lord, because you have heard his voice clearly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare a release hallelujah upon your life now a release upon your household a release upon your health a release upon your finance a release upon your children a release in the mighty name of jesus christ everything that has been stolen from you we call the police from heaven and we declare a robbery has taken place in the bank from the bank of our lives and we declare angelic hosts go for what is rightfully ours restore what is rightfully ours now in the mighty name of jesus christ now in the mighty name of jesus christ everything lord jesus that has stopped us from being used by you that has blocked us from being being used by you that has caused self-esteem issues to stop us from standing in faith from walking according to your will and purpose we uproot we shed we shrug off everything that has stopped us oh god that has delayed us oh god from being mighty warriors for your glory and for your namesake we shrug them off this morning and we say god we are ready here we are father we turn up at your face in your face we turn up boldly and we say lord here we are fill our cups Lord we lift them up Lord come and quench this thirsting in our soul pour your oil into us and upon us O God Almighty pour your oil of revival pour your oil of power pour your oil of love pour your oil of self-control pour your oil of domination pour your oil O God Almighty of dominion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Pour your oil, O God Almighty, to go forth, to encourage, to edify, to exhort, and to comfort. Pour your oil, O God, that anoints us to go forth, to change atmospheres, to shift circumstances. Pour your oil, O God, for us not to just be regular teachers anymore, but to be transformers of lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Pour your oil, O God, to transform us from being just regular co-workers at work, but to be transformers of lives in the name of Jesus Christ pour out your, your spirit upon us afresh O God that in our community we will be known as the ones with the answer that people will stop going to the Obia men and the Obia women to the witches and warlocks they will stop making deals with the devil selling their souls I thank you Lord God Almighty that they will come to our homes they will come to our gates they will come to our churches they will come to our prayer meetings and they will say I know that you have the answer I know know that you have the answer i heard that you can see things in the spirit i heard hallelujah like they went visiting lord saul heard about samuel and he went to find him oh god he heard that there was a prophet in the land that could find his runaway ass and so god he went to find the man of god i declare that every person under the sound of my voice this morning shall have the samuel anointing that people shall come from the north south east and west they shall come from from far and near like the wise men came from the east oh god almighty not knowing where they were going or who they were going to see but they came because they had a prompting in their spirit that there was someone that was different there was someone that had an answer there was someone that could be a blessing lord god almighty i declare that every person that is on this live right now and even those that will watch the lay as of today they shall say i I am the answer I am the answer I am the answer to what ails this world I am the answer to crime and violence I am the answer to sexual immorality I am the answer to confusion of the mind I am the answer to the lost souls I am the answer because the answer to all that ails the world the universe lives in me by the Holy Ghost I am the answer because Jesus Christ of Nazareth is my Lord I am the answer because I am a son of the Living God I I am the answer because I represent the kingdom of heaven, the victorious kingdom, the kingdom that defeated hell, death, and the grave. I am the answer because Jesus Christ of Nazareth is my husband man. I am the answer because I am submitted to the word of God. I am the answer because I am a child of the king. I am blessed and highly favored. I am the answer because the Holy Spirit of God lives in me. I am an answer because I have the mind of Christ. I am the answer because I see with 
with discerning eyes. I am the answer because I hear the voice of God clearly. I am the answer because thus saith the Lord is in my mouth. Come on, people of God. You are the answer. Hakreba kushanda yosepo kusheku yapasata makreba kusheku lemba seto paketo ribi shekata makreba kushekende zepo kula kapa yande kise makreba kusha. Thus saith the Lord, if you can believe that this is my word coming to you today, if you can believe and you can receive by faith, know that I am transforming your lives right now. I am transforming your space. I am transforming your hearts. I am transforming your souls. I am elevating you right now. I am imparting by my son's mouth to you all and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I am transforming you into vessels of honor. I am transforming you by the very words that you are hearing right now into people that are healed, set free and made whole. I have spoken it and it is so. Have I not honored my word above my very name? Have I not told you that I have taken your shame? I have removed the blame. I have restored you in my name. Have I not told you that I am your God and beside you there is none other? Have I not told you that I will bless you beyond measure? Have I not told you that you are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath? I have restored you and renewed you and no weapon formed against you can prosper, says the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand strong, persevere. Yes, you are going through the valley of the shadow of death some of you, but I have not failed to carry those before you through that space and that place and you will get through as well. Yes, you are under pressure. Yes, you feel like you're in the pit like Joseph. Yes, you feel like you're in the prison like Paul and Silas, but no, says God, I have not forgotten you. I have not forsaken you. I will restore you to the place of the palace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am your God. You are my children. You are my sons and daughters. I will be victorious in you, for you, and through you, says the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God has spoken. God has spoken. And let the church say, Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Korobod Sanseji. Mm, I, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I come against the spirit of discouragement this morning. I come against the spirit of discouragement today. Hallelujah. Some of you, the enemy has been coming after with a spirit of discouragement, wants to discourage you, discourage you in business, discourage you in your finances, discouraging, discourage you in relationship or the lack thereof. Come on. The enemy has been wanting to discourage you, pointing out your flaws, pointing out that you have been single for a long time and you want to get married, pointing out that you have been under demonic oppression for a long time and you want to be free, pointing out that you are your marriage has not been at its best for a long time and you've been praying and you're not seeing you're, you're, you're pointing out that your financial breakthrough has not come your, 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 your mortgage keeps missing from time to time and, 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 and your fridge is not is not uh, stacked out the way you want it to be the enemy has released a spirit of discouragement over the body of Christ but I declare this morning God says to tell you the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob the God of Elijah the God of Daniel the God of Shadrach Meshach and Abednego the God of Peter James and John of Paul Philip and Stephen that same God who parted the Red Sea that same God who is the God of Isaac and, and Israel, uh, that same God uh, who said, Let's make, let us make man in our image and likeness, uh, that same God who said, let there be light, uh, that same God who created the heavens and the earth, uh, he is that God that we serve, uh, he is the God that we watch over, and that same God says, I will do what I have promised unto you, says the Lord.
I will restore what the canker worm, the palmer worm, the locust, and the caterpillar has stolen from you. I am your restorer. I am your redeemer. And therefore, every spirit of depression, every spirit of confusion, every spirit designed to cause you to be in a place of uncertainty and confusion, I uproot that spirit now. I set fire to that spirit now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I release you from every confusion, from every fear, from every doubt, from every wondering if God will come true for you, if God will fix that which concerns you. I release mighty men of God husbands right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Those of you who have been properly forged and prepared understand that your forged and prepared Boaz has been released and you will meet him this year in the name of Jesus. I am commanding it. I am calling it forth. I am declaring that where the enemy has held up your Boaz or held up your Ruth or held up your Esther, I command a release today in the name of Jesus. Where the enemy has held up your financial breakthrough, I command a release in this season in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare that your blessings that make rich and add no sorrow is due now, is released now in the name of Jesus. Every contract that is being held up for you, every promotion, every salary increase that is being held up for you, every financial windfall for your business, every capital injection for your business, every destiny helper that is supposed to come and transform your life, but has been held back by the Prince of Persia, by rulers of darkness, by spiritual wickedness in high places. This morning, we take authority over them now because God has given us power over all of their power and nothing shall by any means hurt us. And so we stand in the position of authority. We stand in the position of faith. And we declare this day that anything that is blocking, delaying, derailing, or denying you from coming into the fullness of God's glory upon your life, we uproot and destroy them by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So just begin to declare in your own space that which you know you deserve that promotion that salary increase that financial windfall that 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 that, that blessing hallelujah that you are expecting that monies that are being held up those court documents that are being held up come on whatever it is that is being held up for you in any way shape or form by the prince of persia they, their hands have been released and so you must call it forth out of the realm of the spirit now call forth what is personal to you lord i release the court documents now in the name of jesus christ lord i release the tax returns now in the mighty name of jesus christ lord i release hallelujah Hallelujah. My blessings now. I release Western Union. I release Zelle. I release MoneyGram. I release every form of transfer, Zoom. I release monies to come from the north, south, east, and west on behalf of your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, you said you give seed to the sower. Father, give seed to your people this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Uncommon overflow. Uncommon increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you said that the borrower is a slave to the lender so we cancel every borrowing of your people in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth borrowing goes against the word of God and so I reverse every curse that have been causing your people to borrow hallelujah and making them a slave to the systems of this world I cancel that and, and declare your word says we are lenders and not borrowers and so I release the lender anointing upon your people this morning I release the lender anointing upon your people this morning. I release the lender anointing upon your people today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has made us the tail and not the head. I uproot that, reverse that and curse that and cut it out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What the Lord God Almighty has said is what is truth and the truth is you are the head. I make you the head today. I promote you today. I make you the, top, the champion today. I promote you to the number one spot. I declare that you shall be like Shelley and Sharika and Elaine Thompson Hera. Ah, first, second and third. You alone shall have the gold, the silver and the bronze. You alone shall win all of the races, all of the medals in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare you winner 
right now in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's time to get your medals. It's time to get your trophies. It's time to collect that which God has released for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So I want you to just do a prophetic act. I want you to just bow down your head slightly like you're at a medal ceremony. It is the time for the world championships. I want you to know that you have already won the race. You're standing on the podium this morning. You're standing on the podium. And as I bow my head to get my medals, not just a gold medal but the gold the silver and the bronze because we have no other competitor we are the only one in the race of this life and so we have won all the medals come on do that prophetic act this morning let the angels that God has sent to put the medal around your neck not have to struggle to put it over you but show God that you have faith that you have won the race you have fought the good fight and now awaits you a crown a crown on your head and medals around around your neck and so prophetically just bow your head a little and let him put hey come on ladies if you already have on your wig come on fix it and not let, let it be uh, the, 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 the cord of the medal be on top of your wig come on glory to god if you're already out at work and you're dressed nicely you got to make sure that the thing put on nice come on hallelujah put it right to show that you believe that you are receiving your medals of praise your medals of blessing your medals of thanksgiving your medals of victory in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we declare that you are victorious you are a champion and you will be celebrated as a champion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So Lord, by your holy angels, I place the medals around your children's neck, gold, silver, and bronze in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare them victorious. I declare them winners. I declare them the head and not the tail. I declare them above and not beneath. I declare them strong and not weak. I declare them free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So let it be. And now it's time for your national anthem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for your national anthem to play. Hallelujah. 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 Your national anthem. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou have anointed our heads with oil, and our cups run it over. Surely your goodness and your mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of champions, the house of the Lord, the house of the winners, forever and ever. Amen. That's our national anthem. Hallelujah. Come on, you got, you got to know your national anthem. Hallelujah. And when the angels are playing the trumpets, you got to declare your national anthem. Hallelujah. We are victorious because Jesus Christ of Nazareth is our shepherd, our Lord, our God, and our King. Amen. Hallelujah. So we've been crowned this morning and our medals are around our necks. Everywhere we go, people, demons, and devils will see our medals and know that we are winners that there is no the Satan and his demons cannot get a bronze or a silver. We have all the medals. We have won them all. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 What a mighty God. Glory be to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. I don't remember if I greeted you guys. I started praying and praying and praying and delivering and just hallelujah just flowing as the holy spirit leads but if i didn't i say good morning to each and every one of you i'm saying good morning when we're almost at the end <laughs> but god is faithful amen you came to be blessed not to be greeted uh your blessing is your greeting amen hallelujah so those of you on youtube facebook instagram and uh uh tiktok yes 
praise God and Arrows Internet Radio. I greet you all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the pastors, apostles, prophets, I honor you teachers i honor you each and every one of you i honor you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah sister natalie you were missing for a little bit man couldn't find you like because it's summer holidays yes yeah, so many people are missing because of the summer holidays but god is faithful we continue to pray for our brothers and sisters I pray that they will flourish and prosper and be in good health even as their souls prosper they're gone on vacations and cruises and trips to paris and to dubai and all these places i thank god for each and every one of you that are able to travel and go to places and see things and do things pastor marsh and i would love to go on a cruise one day if it is god's will before we pass that's one of the main things on our bucket list we would love to just be on one of those big cruise liners hallelujah hallelujah but god is faithful amen god is faithful so guys the month of july hallelujah yes that yeah we're happy that you're back too sister nuts we love you girl hallelujah you're special 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 hallelujah okay so we are in the month of july and our our theme is our theme word is apply our theme is actually apply in July there is a supply so there is a loan that we can not not a loan there is um, grants come on when you when you go to university I went to university in the States and, um, and, and and I got a scholarship and they said that there are grants hallelujah hallelujah there are grants that you can access but you have you have to apply for these grants so 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 someone in um in in, in administration will tell you that there is a, a a grant and they will tell you the name of the grant uh that you can get or scholarship that you can get but you have to apply uh, i am here to tell you this morning as a representative of the kingdom of heaven that there is a grant that you can get from heaven a grant of the anointing a grant of financial breakthrough a grant of a husband a grant of healing a grant of deliverance a grant of blessings untold a grant of a ministry a grant of powerful excuse me transformational anointing and power a grant of confidence a grant of boldness a grant of restoration a grant of mental hallelujah strength and power there is a grant for everything in heaven and all you have to do is what who knows apply come on apply for there is a supply just put in your application and god will deliver amen hallelujah that's how easy it is you don't have to jump through hoops you don't even have to do any interview just apply because there is a supply hallelujah come on sister sean you're on the on the ball antipat whoo you're up and sharp complete with your capital a praise god hallelujah i love it once you are involved just apply just apply come on guys if we believe god if this is not just to waste time if we are truly serious about what it is that we should have gotten a long time from the moment we were saved and years have passed we've been christians now some for five six eight ten fifteen twenty years and we have not gotten the, the the things that are stored up in heaven for us uh the grants they listen when you go to university if you do not need the grants they will stay there for years they will just be there because they're not something that someone else can go and take out and utilize elsewhere they are education <clears throat> education grants they are grants that are specific for certain things hallelujah and so you have to access them in order to truly benefit from them and so you have to apply for the grants man apply for the grants of healing apply for the grants of blessing financial overflow apply for the grants for your children god wants to bless your children there are grants in heaven that are specific for your children for your daughter denise apply for a grant go and fill out the form and in prayer and say god I apply for a grant for my daughter and put her name on the paper of prayer 
I apply for a grant for the transformation of my daughter. I apply for a grant for the transformation of my two sons, says says Sister Natalie. I apply for the grant for transformation and restoration of my son, says Sister Sharon Brown. Come on. I apply for a grant hallelujah for the transformation and the restoration of my son says sister debbie hallelujah sister debbie ten come on begin to declare come on sister yvonne hey apply for a grant to restore your to, to, to bring things in order in your marriage in your son's life come on glory to god apply for the grant man it is there heaven has more than enough you don't even have to compete. Hear me tell you, you have already won the gold, the silver, and the bronze. There is no competition for what is yours. The grants are so vast, so much, that you don't even have to apply for just one. You don't even have to apply for just one. Begin to apply for the grant through prayer. But you got to know which grant is yours. It's not just any and any grant. That's why when we, when we, when we, 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 we the first number one thing, in the in the process is prayer that puts your application for your grant before the Lord so you put in your application and you say Lord which grant is mine which grant have you set aside for me and when he tells you which grant is yours or grants hallelujah are yours then you begin to apply those grants to your life amen Hallelujah. Yesterday we looked at um, the, the study of the word, the, to, to, uh, to be actively reading the word. And we looked at all the elements, just recapping everything we read. Every time we read the word, we fill out an application form in heaven. Every time we read the word, we fill out a grant application form in heaven. And it shows that we qualify for the position or we qualify for the grant. Because we have filled out the form, we are obedient. That's that, that, that filling out the form, um, reading the word is filling out the form. Prayer is filling out the form. We show that we are obedient to what God has said. And those who are obedient qualify for the position of blessing, the position of anointing, the position of power. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We also looked at um, part B that says application of the word we read releases uncommon supplies of blessing healing deliverance peace joy love temperance faith hope prosperity good success and much more there is nothing that application of the word does not release can somebody get that there is nothing that is available in heaven that application of the word of god will not release or oh, somebody should bring an offering for that there is nothing that is in heaven, nothing that God has under his purvey, nothing that is in the realm of the spirit that will not be released into the natural, come on, according to God's will, when we apply the word. If we apply the word, anything that we need for life and godliness will be restored, will be redeemed, and will be, hallelujah, released. And the last thing we said about the study of the word was it also releases us into greater works when we study the word it releases us into greater works it releases us to flow like god by god through god for god mm -mm. study of the word releases us releases us to by the word to flow like god by god for god Come on, through God. Amen. Hallelujah. So the word makes us like God. When we speak God's word, when persons hear it, they will say, wow, that is God. Oh, hallelujah. Have you ever heard a man of God, a woman of God speak? And when they say something, your response is, that is God? Ha, 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 ha. You didn't think of it like that, did you? Yes. The word of God, when it comes forth out of a clean vessel, out of a, a, a dedicated vessel, when it comes forth, that person becomes the undiluted representative of God. 
Father, I thank you this morning that every person that is hearing my voice right now is an undiluted vessel for you. A vessel that will cause a dust set the Lord to come forth. A vessel that will speak and things will happen. A vessel that will shift atmospheres, that will declare and decree a thing and it shall be established. A vessel that shall be a port of answer for everything that ails those around him or her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that you shall be the answer to what ails those around you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You shall be, hallelujah, one that performs greater works for your ministry, for your family, for your job, for your friends, for your community, and even for your nation in the name of Jesus Christ. If you can receive it, it shall be so. If you can receive it, it shall be so. Come on, Elisha. Guys, don't get it twisted. Elisha was just a farmer. Elisha was behind the oxen, directing it and plowing the lands to farm. Elisha was just a farmer. Are you a farmer? Some of you would look down on farming and say, that's dirty work. If you were not a farmer, if you were even a farmer, if you were a maid, if you were one that just clean out the house, if you were, if you once were a prostitute, come on, look at all the people in scripture that God has restored. Look at all the people in scripture that God has elevated. Mary Magdalene was the first human to see Jesus after he rose from the dead. She was once a prostitute. Seven devils of sexual immorality was cast out of her. Yet she was elevated to a high position. That's the same God that is on the throne. The woman at the well had nearly must have five husbands. And none of them were her real husband. But yet God turned her into a mighty evangelist that went and brought hundreds, maybe thousands of people to the seat, to the little feet of Jesus. I'm saying to you, it doesn't matter what you have done, where you have been, what you have accomplished or not, as the case might be. God can move you and give you a double portion anointing that will change your life if you only believe, if you only spend time in the word, if you only believe by faith that God can do what he says he can do, then you are available for him to do it in you and through you. Hallelujah. Somebody should say praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 I want to just give you a, um, a little a touch of a, of a, of a scripture uh, to wrap up that um, time in the word. Uh, so we, we, we cannot be saying you have to read the word and we don't read the word. Amen. So, so the scripture that deals with to be actively reading um, the word is Joshua 1, Joshua 1, 3 to 9. Joshua 1, 3 to 9. Hallelujah. Praise God. Turn with me in your Bibles, Joshua 1, 3 to 9. Rereading from the NIV version, verse 3. God says, I will give you every place where you set your foot. I will give you every place where you set your foot. Are you hearing me, somebody? God Almighty said to his son Joshua, who he called and prepared as a leader, is there anyone in this family this morning that God has not called? Is there anyone in this family this morning that God has not prepared? Is there anyone in this family that God has not set apart? Not one. Each of us have the Spirit of God in us. Each of us have been called because the one who used to control our lives is there. Oh, somebody got to hear me. Somebody got to hear me. God has renewed us, restored us, and he said, Satan, who used to control your life, come on, that demon, that demon of immorality, that demon of sin that used to be in charge of you, that used to lead you, is now dead. You are now the leader. You are now the carrier of the glory. Oh, somebody got to hear that. And so because you are now called and chosen to be the carrier of the glory, here is your first promise. I will give you every place where, you're, where you set your foot. Hallelujah. So set your foot in your child's room. Come on, Sister Denise. 
run up to your daughter's room set your foot in that room and say God you said you have chosen me to be a leader you have chosen me to be a child of God you have chosen me to be a carrier of your presence I stand in my daughter's room and I declare that you will give me everything that concerns this room everything that concerns my child and just begin to claim begin to claim begin to claim begin to mash down because God says he will give you wherever the sole of your feet trod go into your child's room sometime today you don't have to do it right now especially if they're in there and they, they might be a little offended that you come wake them up so early in the morning but come on you get the, 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 the what i'm saying amen if you're having problems in your marriage when your husband gone to work or or, or when him, when him don't come home from work yet go into your bedroom stand up jump up take off your shoes jump up on your bed and say god my feet is on my bed you said you will give me where my feet strad i stand up on this bed i declare that my marriage shall be warm and steamy hot like fire love shall return to my marriage my marriage shall be renewed and restored i claim my marriage according to your word come on somebody you got to get this claim your children claim prosperity and good success claim that where your feet trod is yours go to the bank when you go to the bank go stand up outside go stand up inside even if you don't have any money in there claim that bank in the name of jesus because because in claiming the bank you're claiming uh, deposits to your account in the name of Jesus Christ come on hallelujah claim your house sister Rosalie stand up in your house and say God you said wherever my feet trod I will own hallelujah I own this house no demon or devil can control this house come on hallelujah we have to start declaring the word and believing the word because God has already heard. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and Pastor, some persons may say that you are you are talking in Joshua. But in, in the book of Genesis, he also said, I have given man dominion over the things of the earth. That's so correct. Basically the same thing. That's correct. That's correct. God has given us dominion. God has made us kings and priests. He says that okay so 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 he has given us power right new testament he has given us power to do what tread upon what serpents. serpents and scorpions in your room if you follow what i just said let's say um the 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 the, the, the devil is trying to confuse you and he said um to you don't listen to him don't listen to him it is joshua god said that too he didn't say that to you let's say you are trying to believe the devil instead of god did god say in the new testament come on that he has given us power come on to tread upon serpents and scorpions what do you tread upon serpents and scorpions with what do you tread with isn't that your feet okay so the things that are happening to your children to your marriage to your finance come on don't you want them to don't you want to tread upon them so don't listen to no foolishness. Don't, hey, believe God, not the devil. Believe God, believe God, believe God. Hallelujah. We're the, hey, let me tell you something, guys. If you stand upon something and claim it in the name of Jesus, what's the worst can happen? You don't get it. That's the worst. But will you be any worse off? The worst that can happen when God doesn't do something because it's not according to his will the worst that happens is that you are no worse off than you were before you believed by faith. <laughs> See it? So it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't help for you to believe Satan and not try. Believe God and try. Believe God and keep trying. Believe God and stand. Believe God and press. Believe God and go. Believe God and do. Amen? Because the worst that can happen is that you remain you but what's the best that can happen hey satan play number two and you win always amen hallelujah so let's 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 continue um he said uh i will give you every place where you're where you set your foot as i promised moses 
as I promised Moses. So God has made promises to all those that have gone before us. He promised the, 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 um, the, 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 the disciples that, excuse me, if they went into all the world and preached the gospel, that if they went to Jerusalem, tarried in the upper room, waited for the Holy Spirit to come, that he would give them power over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt them. He will give them power to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cast out devils, to win souls for the kingdom. Is that what we now have? Let's say you think, or the Satan has tried to convince you, that that was for the disciples, that was for the apostles. So many modern day preachers and teachers have this concept, this ide ideology, this satanic concept that the things that some, a lot of the things that Jesus said to the disciples were just for them, to the apostles were just for them. That's a satanic concept. That's a concept designed to stop you from, 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 um, from believing the limitless God. That he who gave the disciples a direct instructions or gave them a download or an anointing or blessing is incapable or have gone to sleep, gone on vacation, finishing work and is no longer giving out those things. The devil is a liar. The only way you will know what God has not done according to his will is when you have challenged it hear me let me say that again slowly the only way you and i will know what god has made up in his own mind and in his sovereignty that he is not going to do at this time or in this season is when we challenge him to do it do not allow any demon or devil, people of God, to convince you not to ask God for something because you don't qualify. You're not good looking enough. You're not sexy enough. You're not cute enough. You're not uh, uh, have hair enough or you're not bald enough. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Everything for life and godliness has been released for you. You you I'm talking to and you will only know that it is yours when you reach out and challenge for it amen praise God so stop believing the lie of the devil everything is yours let God say no don't let anybody else tell you no because you don't worship anyone else Jesus Christ of Nazareth is our Lord he died on the cross to give us access. He rose from the dead to confirm our access. Listen not to anyone who tell you that there is a limit to what God can and will do for you. Do not listen to them. They are from hell. Straight Satan. And I make no apology. They are not demons or, or Satan. But that mindset, that ideology, that thought process, that instruction comes from hell and i make no apology for that nothing nothing is impossible for god to do for you or through you apply for your supply amen apply for your supply let god tell us that the supply run out let god tell us that the supply soon come let God tell you that so many people have been applying for what you want, that there is a run on it, and he's manufacturing some more. Let God tell you what it is that he needs to tell you. Don't let no demon or devil tell you anything that God cannot do or will not do or have not done for you. Praise God. Please believe that. I would never lie to you. I want you to flourish. I want you to prosper. I want you to have even that which was not planned for you in the first place from God. Apply for your supply. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river, uh, the Euphrates, all the Hittite country to the great sea on the west. Hallelujah. 
So God was showing, uh, was saying to Joshua, there shall be no limit to what I will give you. That same God is saying to you this morning, there is no limit to what I will give you. There is no limit to where I will take you. There is no limit. Your mind cannot conceive what you can accomplish if you believe. Your mind cannot conceive what you will receive if you only believe. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Can you praise God with me this morning and say, Lord, I thank you for revelation that all I have to do is apply and you will supply. All I have to do is believe and I will receive. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Your life is being changed here now. Just apply, apply, apply. And all these things that God promised Joshua, he will do for you as well. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Verse 5. No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. You remember the same God says in this era, I will never leave you or forsake you. Come on. I will be your, war your warrior, your battle axe. I will fight against them that fight against you. It's the same God that says the same thing to Joshua. No one will be able to stand against you all of your life. I will defend you. I will defeat them for you. That same God is our fighter, our healer, our deliverer. That same God stands for us too, like he did for Joshua. And so when you come upon any situation, you must say, God, I thank you. That like you stood with Joshua, like you stood up for Joshua, like you defended Joshua and the children of Israel all the days of their lives. So because I am your daughter, I am your son, because I carry your spirit, I thank you that you stand for me, you stand with me, you stand against them that stand against me. You fight against them that fight against me. The rivers will come but will not overtake me. The fire will come but it will not burn me or smell in my clothes. I thank you God that every Goliath, every lion, every bear that come against me, me. You will defeat them on my behalf in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We got to know what is available for us. What is in supply if we only apply. Hallelujah. Bless God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 He said, um, like uh, the next verse, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Now, one of the problems that we have in the kingdom, I was in a pastor's meeting yesterday and we were talking about faith and great faith and building faith. And one of the issues, one of the missing piece in this whole process of building faith is that we don't have enough Moses, Moseses, that's the correct English, Masha. Yeah. We don't have enough Moseses spread out in our lives or that we have access to that we can see what God did to through and for Moses that we can be inspired to do so when God says as I was with Moses there is no frame of reference come on somebody hey I sound like I intelligent this morning there is no frame of reference or hardly any frame of reference for us to draw on to say yes as God called Moses to speak to the rock and water come out or to strike the rock and water come out or to point the rod over the Red Sea and it parted so he is with me therefore I am a Red Sea parter because God has chose me I am a water from the rock because God chose me I am a Ekrebakushenda if somebody could get that revelation this morning you would be dancing in the streets you would be running around your bed and you would be saying God I thank you that I Hallelujah. Though I didn't have a Moses to look at, though I didn't have an Elijah to look at, I shall still be an Elisha. I shall still be a Deborah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so great faith requires inspiration. Amen requires some measure of inspiration um, Elisha was able to say I want a double portion of what I see on Elijah's life hallelujah 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 when you listen to Pastor Marsha Wade pray and you see how she functions and you see the anointing, you are able to say, God, what I see you do in Pastor Marsha, how I see you operate with her, I want a double portion of that. And so when God says, as I was with Marsha, as I am with Marsha, so I will be with you, you have an idea 
of what to expect because you have seen it in action. Oh, somebody should get excited. Right. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the time runs so fast, man. I, the devil is a liar, I know. <laughs> Praise God. But we're going to pick up again tomorrow and we're going to continue with this, this, this passage because this is our devotional time, man. We're just going to enjoy God. We're not in any rush. We're not trying to finish anything fast. We're just taking our time and just growing in God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But you got to practice what you learn each day. So you got to get serious and you got to say, God, I'm applying for power. I am applying for glory. And if I have not seen uh, uh, Elijah like Elisha saw him, if I have not seen a Moses like Joshua saw him, I will be my Elisha, Elijah in my time. I will be my Joshua, my uh, Moses in my time that others who see me, the Joshua's that are coming up, the Elishas that are coming up, come on, glory to God, will see me and desire to serve you because of how I served you and how you bless me in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Let's pray. Father, we just bless you this morning. Who, my communion? Hallelujah. Father, we bless you this morning. We bless you this morning. We praise you this morning. We thank you that you are God all by yourself. There is no God like you, Jehovah. We pray, O oh God Almighty, that you will move mountains for us. You will cause walls to fall. You will cause red seas to part. You will cause pro problems, plots, schemes, and traps of the enemy to be defeated and destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, for what you have done this morning, how you have delivered us, set us free, and made us whole, how you have imparted knowledge into us that we can apply for your supply in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sanctify and consecrate the emblems of our communion this morning, O God Almighty. May the body and the blood be truly the representation of your goodness and of your mercy today in the name of Jesus Christ. Sanctify and consecrate even now and may we be strong and mighty through you to the pulling down of every stronghold in our lives. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Hallelujah. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it and took a sup and he said, drink. This is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, uh, Arrows Internet Radio listeners. Thank you, Facebookers, hallelujah, family. Thank you for those on TikTok, on Instagram, and on YouTube. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please raise your hands for the blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day, his way, in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus love you, and we love the world our owner too. God bless you, God bless you. On behalf of Pastor Marsha Wade and Rowan Wade saying, have a wonderful, amazing, blessed and highly favored day. And remember, because you are blessed and highly favored, and you have applied for your supply, you're going to test to make sure you have received that supply by sharing out of your supply with someone else. Share a word, share a blessing, share a dollar, 
share our, our, our encouragement, share our prophetic encouragement, share, 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 because you care, and the devil will get out of here, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a great one. Love you all. Bye.